Hey everyone, so, uh, Chill Venter, day three, crazy, crazy show, lots of natural refrigerant innovations, lots of new uh, players and components and systems coming to market. It's been an amazing uh, show. And I'm really happy to be here with Joachim, the CEO and co-founder of this company, Tekus. Uh, Norwegian company, relatively new to the market. Obviously, you've been working on this for a number of years, yeah. but safe to say that people are starting to understand the brand, the name, since about a year or so. Mm -hmm. Yeah? And they've come to, to the market. They're Norwegian, um, coming to the market in Northern Europe and looking at potentially at the US as well with CO2 heat pumps. So, and they've got different designs, different sizes, and, a, and, a, and, a, and a, an original approach that will help them be competitive in the market at a, at a good price point and high efficiency. So, I'll hand over to Joachim to explain a little bit more in detail, but definitely worth the watch. So, Joachim, tell us a little bit about Tikos. What's the background to this? What, 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 what was driving you to, to bring this product, this company to the market with this solution? Yeah, so it started with uh, my colleague, Marius, the co-founder. Yep. He was working with uh, CO2 heat pumps in a different company. Okay. And he had an idea that uh, CO2 heat pumps had, has some untapped potential. Um, they're not, uh, you're not able to use them for that, what they can be used for. Um, uh, so, uh, so you saw an opportunity to enter the market with CO2 that wasn't there yet. Yeah, there was right? a lot of heat pumps uh, um, available on the market for high capacities. Okay. Like 700 kilowatts and upwards. Okay. That was no problem. Uh, CO2 heat pumps had some issues with low return temps. Yep. That didn't uh, work for applications like uh, where there there are a fossil burner furnace today. Yep. And we thought we could do something about that. Okay. Uh, so we started a journey. Um, first, Marius and me. And later on, we uh, boarded uh, also Rivercold on the project. Yeah, so this is important, right? Because Rivercold are a very well-known brand in this space. And part of what you're bringing to this market is that you've got this product that's manufactured by Rivercold, right? Yeah. So you're leveraging that manufacturing know-how, the sourcing of the the components, I guess, some yes. of the major suppliers that we're going to show in a minute. So from day one, you, you're you basically acting like a big company that's already established, not just a startup, right? Yeah, uh, so uh, we, we uh, there were a few things we needed to solve. Sure. Uh, the most important was the pricing on yeah. the CO2 units. Uh, everyone that makes uh, one megawatt uh, of racks, CO2 heat pumps or chillers can make also make 250 kilowatts, if you like. Yeah. But the price point is too high. Okay. Yeah. So there were there was no way to compete with other refrigerants. Uh, so we needed uh, someone someone to manufacture uh, this on scale. Yeah. Uh, when we had the design ready, and we also needed a partner that knew how to make a high quality product that can stand in a high scale volume product. So okay. you got an initial design, and when you and it might be work for ten units with 100 units, but when you're going to copy paste that product for thousands, the marginals error are going to appear around the world, right? Okay, so this is a very big deal. Okay, that's very important. I think it's good that people know that. that, that for me, when I heard that, I was impressed. Yeah. Because that made me think, okay, these guys are the real deal. They're going to be around for a while, right? You, yep. you, 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 yep. you, and you've got the right partnerships to make sure that you deliver on the goods. So. Sure. Kudos to you. Um, so tell us a little bit about the, yeah. maybe the, but, but, okay, you got the manufacturing partner, but what, what are you bringing to the table? What, it, what is Tickles doing yes. that actually is, what's the, what's the source that you're bringing? So we had an initial design uh, that we thought we're going, we, we're going to raise the return temperature, okay. the inlet. Uh, we wanted to raise it high enough that we could use it to replace fossil furnaces. Okay. Right, because uh, we took a bet that first, the EU wanted to uh, phase out the fossil phase the fa yep. fossil phase out scheme. Yep, yep, yep. And then we also took a bet on the uh, the F gas phase bans. out. Yep, yeah, sure. So you're ready, definitely for the EU bans. So yep. We thought we, we in the future uh, the the at least EU and later on the US can North American market will need a heat pump that 
you can use to replace a fossil furnace. And we thought uh, the CO2 had that potential. But if you ask someone that, if you were looking into the market for CO2 heat pumps, there was no heat pumps that could uh, handle the high return times of a fossil heating system. Okay. But you had a lot of heat pumps that uh, had the potential to deliver 80, 90 degrees. Mm -hmm. But it, you couldn't use it for a heating system for fossil heating because the return temperatures on the coldest day were 40, 50 and higher. Okay. So, so that's what, where CO2 has a, an advantage. Yeah, sure. But on the return yeah. temperatures, if you go look around on the despair, you, yeah. won't find a, you, you won't find a heat pump that handles more than uh, 40 degrees. Okay. So this is where some of the components that you've got have helped you achieve that, right? Yeah. So you want to tell us a little bit about what we're seeing here? Sure. We, we are, there is a lot of things going on. There is yeah. big things and there is a lot of minor yeah. innovation. Yeah, so don't share anything confidential. No, sure. <laughs> sure. But anything that you think that will be helpful to explain a little bit how you've got a high efficient system here. Yeah. So we are uh, together with Riva Cold and we have worked a lot with Karel and Schneider. Okay. Uh, so uh, with, uh, or Ellivel. Yep. Uh, so we have, we, have, we have to develop a new controller or okay. software for a controller okay. to handle the valves and the ejector from Karel. Okay. And that was important because... But all that software, that's you guys, right? Yeah. That's you, you've done it. Okay, but yes. you've had the, the Schneider to, to help, uh, not Schneider, yeah. so Elliwell. Everyone has worked together. Yeah. Uh, so uh, Schneider uh, and the LOL guys, yeah. uh, Riva called, yeah. and us. Okay. All right, but what are we seeing here, for example? What's that red thing over there? Uh, this uh, red thing, that's yeah. the ejector from uh, Karel. Karel. Okay, so you've got an ejector in here. Yeah. Why? Performance improvement, yeah. right? Uh, so uh, to handle the high return uh, temperatures, yeah. Yeah. this is one of the key elements. Okay. Because if you don't have this, okay, uh, uh, the efficiency will go down. Okay. When the pressure gets high. Okay. But this actually take advantage advantage of that okay. high pressure. Okay. What about this here? This unit from. Are we allowed to say the brand? Yeah, sure. It's uh, Alpha. Al Alpha Laval. Yeah. So what what's special about this? Well, uh, the whole system can handle, handle up to 130 bars. Okay. And that's, uh, uh, that's key important. That's the key to handle the high return temperature. Um, this unit is actually the first unit in the world that has completed the high uh, temperature comfort heating, the eco design. Okay, so it's eco design approved. Yeah, for high temperature comfort. For high temperature. Yeah, like it's like the worst conditions you can run a heat pump in. And so it you, works. So it, it wasn't works. an issue. Uh, well, there, there was an issue. Actually, this, like you see, this unit is branded THCP. What does that mean? Uh, it's not. Uh, it's just uh, Tecus heat pump chiller. That's it. Okay. Uh, it means 134. Kilowatts. Okay. That was the initial uh, capacity for this yep. unit. Okay. But when we started working with the to pass the high temperature, yeah, uh, comfort heating, uh, it ended up uh, being much 154. more. One hundred fifty-four. Yeah. <laughs> and the biggest unit, the unit is called uh, two hundred sixty-eight. Okay. Ended up uh, in the end, ended up being three hundred forty yeah. kilowatts. Three hundred forty kilowatts. So this yeah. is modular, right? You can have several of these. Yeah. It, yeah? We can deliver this up uh, up to five megawatts in parallel. Five megawatts, yeah, potentially. Sure. You have, you're not there yet, right? No, uh, we uh, might be doing it very soon. Wow, that's uh, fast. Yeah, yeah. and uh, we see that the big, our big units, our price point is about uh, the same as uh, as a propane heat pump. When we, when you go down to the smallest one, they're a bit more expensive. Okay. But okay. we can compete with propane on price, but in, uh, there is. Uh, applications where uh, you probably will want a propane, okay. and there is application where you would like you probably will want a CO2 heat pump. Okay, okay. Um, all right, so I understand that there's a project, there's a greenhouse, one of these potential greenhouses, right? Yeah. You want to tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, sure. Um, uh, one of the, we just entered the market yep. after doing completed the eco design this summer. Yep. Uh, we have delivered a lot of pilot system, okay. but as uh, commercial, commercial delivers, Deliveries. Uh, one of the first is uh, an agro uh, greenhouse. Wow. Uh, today, the in Trondheim, green, right? In Trondheim, yep. outside of Trondheim. Okay. Um, they use uh, today they use uh, uh, gas okay. for heating. Okay. Uh, when and when you heat a greenhouse, you get a lot of humidity. Mm -hmm. 
and to get rid of that humidity, you have to open this, the ceiling, the skylight. Right. And then you also lose a lot of uh, um, heat. Yep. And then you have to use more gas to heat yeah, up yeah. again. Yeah, yeah. So there's and, a clear advantage there. Yeah, so they're going to use both sides of the heat pumps. Okay. And uh, you're going to use both the cold side and the heat, uh, hot side. You're going to use the hot side to heat the... Uh, it hit the ground, yeah. and you're going to use the other side to uh, dehumidify. All right. And then you're going to reduce the uh, reduce uh, the consum energy consumption by at least 80 percent. Wow. So this is a solution. We, I think we're going to see a lot of in the future. Okay. So then, looking, you know, looking at the actual system, the way you design this, and the it looks very professional. It looks like it's very user friendly, right? Plug yeah. and play. So tell us a little bit about this. It's yes. pre-charged. Yeah, plug and play. But tell us a bit more about That's that. That's great. So you, when you get when you receive this uh, you, when you receive this uh, unit mm. on site, it will come pre-filled pre with CO two. Okay, we know exactly how to fill it. Yep. the right amount, and it pre-filled with oil also. Okay, and uh, on the this side, instead uh, instead of using the the normal controller with only four or five buttons, a lot of operation you have a software uh, you have our own custom software okay so it's very really easy to use so when it's pre-filled uh, with both oil and, and uh, refrigerant uh, you only need to connect it to the hydraulic side and uh, to uh, power okay all right anything else you want to add um, yeah sure it's um, it's um, very compact yep uh, so and um, it's uh, will go through every door. This unit is 69 centimeters okay. wide, and you can use a pallet trolley from all sides to get it in. Or so you equipment. really you really thought about the practical implementation of this. Yeah, right, right. now there is like about 60 to 70 million heat pumps, uh, yeah. new heat pumps coming yeah. into Europe. Yeah. All the buildings there are already made. Yeah, uh, they're not very very good suited. Like you yeah, don't yeah. have the wide doors to Absolutely. technical rooms, yeah. so we we needed a, a heat pump that can handle the heating system, deliver what the heat they need, yep. but also it has to be practical getting in yep. to the technical rooms. All right, yeah, no, you can definitely see for for a new company in the market, you've done your homework. Yeah, it's been yeah. a lot of uh, yeah, yeah. trail and errors. Yeah, 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 but and no. we have been talking to uh, to contractors, and normally when you see a heat pump company popping up yeah they, they are coming out of universities yeah. uh, there are education in this company as well but uh, the people who has made this technology they are uh, com uh, uh, had been working on the ground yeah. uh, doing refrigeration service I've had the chance to talk with many of your colleagues and, yeah. and I was impressed by you. you've got a lot of know-how yeah for such a young company you've got a lot of know-how and you've got the right partners so you know, I'm, I'm impressed. I'm happy that you, you, you're in the market and you're proposing a solution that's going to be competitive. So I wish you the best of luck. Thank you. Yeah.